side. He is um, an interesting man. He was tortured in prison, in the Egyptian prisons, after um, the uh, Sadat assassination. Uh, he and bin Laden, who is the second of the characters, met together in Peshawar in, in 1986. Uh, together they formed Al-Qaeda in 1988. Prince Turki al-Faisal, uh, who was the head of Saudi intelligence, is an interesting man. Uh, he, went to, uh, he went to school here in, in uh, Washington at Georgetown. Bill Clinton was one of his uh, classmates and used to help him with his homework. But he later had the Afghan file for the Saudi uh, government and he worked with bin, with, uh, bin Laden at that time. And finally, there's John O'Neill, who was the head of the FBI's counterterrorism effort in New York. And he was forced to resign before 9-11. And unfortunately, he died in the World Trade Center that day. You went to Egypt and spent at least three months researching yeah. Mr. Zawari. What did you find when you were there on the spot? And do you speak Arabic? Well, I used to teach at the American University in Cairo years ago. So I speak some Arabic. I studied Arabic when I was a young man. Uh, but it had been 30 years, and uh, uh, I speak enough Arabic to get around. I wouldn't quote somebody based on my Arabic, so I always hired a, a translator. Um, I spent a lot of time uh, talking to Zawahri's family and friends and the uh, neighborhood that he grew up in, this rather tony neighborhood called Mahdi, uh, just outside of Cairo. And uh, what I learned about him was that he was uh, originally uh, thought of as very polite, quiet. He had a dream, though. Uh, from the age of 15, he started a cell to overthrow the Egyptian government. He was a very ambitious and hard-headed young man. He, his dream was a surgical swift coup, but he, after the Sadat assassination in 1981, he was rounded up with thousands of other Egyptians and placed in prison and tortured. When he went into prison, uh, he was just a doctor. When he came out, he was a butcher. And a lot of the bloody-mindedness of this movement was born in the torture that was taking place in those Egyptian prisons. How long did it take you to do this book? 